Welcome, this is Arc Linux version 6.9.1 and we are going to release version 6.9.2. What gives, what changes? 15 July 2018, we've released an ISO of Arc Linux and um, we have seen that there was an issue just a day or so behind because of Arc GTK theme. That was an update on the same date then we launched but of course the ISO was built already a week before that and we've tested it. So that's just bad timing because this um, Nico Hood, which we're very grateful that he's going to continue the good work from Horst 3180, he's going to continue and develop Arc theme. So there was one particular item we needed to delete and we are going to leave this ISO for uh, whole of July, whole of August and the first ISO is going to be in September. So since it's a holiday coming on, we don't want to go into holiday with this kind of ISO. So immediately you need to update something, you need to fix something and it's already described on articlinux.com but like I said, we don't want to go in a holiday with an ISO where you need to fix something immediately. So, um, yeah, fixes will come along in the future. That's, that's okay, that's arch, that's um, how it works. But um, just now this video will talk about the 6.9.2 version, because of course we wouldn't be Arco Linux if we wouldn't have developed in the meantime. So in one week time, we did improve already the Arco Linux ISO. So it's a continuation of our uh, project anyway. So. This video is basically going to show you hey, how to migrate from 6.9.1 to 6.9.2, which is just nothing, next to nothing, All right? Of course. Pseudo Pacman minus SYYU is what we do. There is an alias, update alias. You see how much time it's one week old. <laughs> 653 megabytes is going to be unpacked, installed, but only a minus actually less gigabytes on, of megabytes on our system. So this is the error we are getting and this is not how we want to put an ISO online, of course. So the only thing we have to do, and it says it here, so maybe let's make a little bit educational thingy about, so this is what it says, it's owned by Openbox Arc Git. And you could have gone in here and then starting looking for it, open box and let's see what happens, right? Arc git. So you can click here and it's gone, right? Apply and it's deleted. And let's make also a terminal command. So you know that as well. Remove the arc, no, the open box arc git. And that's it basically, that's that's all you need to do, but okay. When installing an ISO, uh, the first thing you get is an error, we understand. So we don't want to leave you going in the holiday for, um, well, like I said, the ISO will be there for one or two months. We're taking our holiday break and in September we will we'll do a next release. In the meantime, we will develop of course, but um, we, the Arc Linux team needs their holiday as well. So we're going to do our updates. That's one thing. You can always do one again. All right, nothing happens. Then we're going to check if AUR gives us some things. So already some elements here. So I've made a uh, I've made these guys available the last versions in 6.9.2. But he's building and let him build. So that's that. So if you've done all that, you've, you're up to date, you have almost 6.9.2. Let's have a look. So what do you have to know? You always go to beta, Arca Linux beta. We've uh, had discussions with people on Discord. I said, look, when we have, I have one PC or a laptop probably, one SSD with one hard disk. And the settings we had, uh, well screws the up the calamaris installation so okay all these settings are back to zero so people who have a laptop with one ssd one hard disk which is actually a very good idea ssd the operating system and the terabyte is 
for the data, all right? So then Calamaris can't figure it out and he's mounting both probably and then, well, something goes wrong in the installation, a big error and done. Report it on GitHub, they'll fix it. But in the meantime, it's all off. So, you know, tune our preferences, advanced volume management, click everything back on if you want to. So the fix for OpenBox or Git, we've done that. We just don't install it and then it's fine. I have included J, or Yai, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's an AUR packer helper like Trizen, yeah, like Yahurt, like a, well, many more, but let's try it out. So the advantage of Yay, I think, is that it can fetch keys. When it was a week or two ago, a package that was missing keys, and Ye just said to me, hey, do you want me to fetch the keys? I say, oh yeah, please do. Up, and it was installed. So that's uh, pretty neat. So let's try out Ye and Trizen as maybe a replacement for Yaourt. We'll see. The VMware solution is back out since it caused the issues uh, on the other end. I want the choice, I want to have the choice in VMware to have this resolution and I do not have it. I do not get it. So we'll find it out, find out how to do it. If you know, please share under the YouTube. So the idea is to have a choice in XFC to have that resolution and it's not there. The GUIP locator was uh, stopped in, um, well, this, the website it, what, where it was referring to the URL was stopped. So I've changed to a proper URL thanks to the guys in the support of the Calamaris team. So yes, we keep in touch so we can improve Calamaris and can improve Arch Linux, of course. And these guys here are now working. They are now updating, I suppose they're almost, almost done. So the guys up here, all the way up here, we see what we created in, oh, still more, still more, here they are. So Grub Customizer, check, Inkseek, check, and Pamac, check. So everything is now up to date. Basically, we are now at 6.9.2. If, Eric, don't forget, if we have, yay. And then we're rolling and we're back where we are 6.9.2. Yeah, it needs this go thing. There's also a yay bin, which is maybe uh, smaller. So that's the advantage of doing an uh, clean install, you don't get this go uh, package, you just install the EA, which is only five megabytes, so it's nothing. So um, let me check the VM resolution that's out. So if we really want to be 100% 6.9.2, then I should navigate with you guys to X11 xorg.conf this one should go out open folder as root you can leave it in as well it's just a configuration file for uh, vmware so if your ssd or virtual box doesn't matter but hey 100 percent correct it's 100 percent correct so this one now we are 100 percent 6.9.2 meaning there we go where is this lsb release thing here it is. Ta -da. We are now at 6.9.2. So that's that. And that's an, uh, a short video and some additions we've made. But basically we want to leave you with a clean CD or DVD for the coming months. All right, enjoy Arch Linux and Arch Linux D. Don't forget, by the way, some advertisement we have released Arch Linux Deeping, Arch Linux B Deeping and all is in here in Arch Linux D.com all information or you build it yourself or you download it we've put it on SourceForge or you build it yourself here with Arch Linux D so choices choices enjoy <laughs>